Hi, Kapun Piso here. Well, we, as I said at nauseum, we create God with our brains. God is simply a delusion. The belief, uh, this is produced by the brains, by neurons. Uh, believing God is simply a, something that is a, is a form of a deletion in the brain or duplication, a malfunction of the genes, if the person accepts it. Uh, educated people that believe in God are simply psychotic and they have a form of a retardation. But not in the sense of everybody calls uh, retardation, but it's a form of delayed of perception of reality. Uh, the fact is that um, only 50 years ago, uh, it was discovered, DNA. And DNA, the genes, are part of our brains, creating thinking. And when you start believing in God and all this nonsense, you're simply retarded and having a problem with the brain. There have been many discoveries recently, which proves that what I'm saying is true. We have the genome, the mapping, the architecture of our bodies. And uh, boy, religious people, religious psychotics, uh, you know, the day of reckoning is coming. You know, to be put in mental potential importance in terms of understanding both disease and as well as evolution. What is God with you? Evolution. Right. The human genome, just like any genome, is a complete set of instructions which dictates essentially that we will be human beings. What distinguishes a bat from a banana from a human is all encoded in its DNA code. And each chromosome contains roughly about a thousand genes. So not much different from um, the, uh, a fruit fly or a worm. It's kind of a disappointing aspect of sequencing the human genome. We thought we would have a lot more genes. And after, the, after many years of looking, uh, we come up with this number of roughly 20,000. Nothing but evolved mutated primates. And when you start believing in God and resurrecting zombies and the rest of the nonsense, you're retarded and deluded, psychotic, and you have a problem with your brain. Thanks to manipulating genes, and that's done because of evolution and because of the genome, we, we can actually start finding cures for diseases and what produces them. I want to show you examples of how we were able to find these using both specific technologies and a specific paradigm and how we've been able to essentially uh, identify and link these Go. to genetic diseases. Yeah, so our lab specifically focuses on studying the genome architecture and organization. Transmission through pedigrees or through families, we study the organization of the human genome specifically. Genetics mutations are not only physical, but also of the brain. I'm the product of the devil because of the way I was born. See? Okay. Oh, Hopefully, <laughs> in the future. Oh, really? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> C.S. Lewis was a lunatic. He was a schizophrenic man. He was the phrenic man. He was the Duplication and deletion of the genes, of the sequence, can also cause retardation and epilepsy and happens in the brain, so the thoughts are distorted. And specifically focusing on their role in mental retardation, autism, and epilepsy. I'm interested in, uh, from a, pretty much for the last 10 years, are duplicated sequences. Epilepsy. Now, I'll try to show you some examples, as opposed to twice as it should be in the genome. Yeah. That the result. Deep believing in, in imaginary friends is also, you know, produced by this. Uh, the, so one of the patients, and you can see that their breakpoints appear to be roughly identical, mapping at least around the regions of these duplicated sequences. For my neurologically impaired, deluded friends, the religious people, uh, here are the facts. Stork doesn't bring the babies. It's a penis and vagina, sperm and egg. Okay, and then we have certain looks because of our genes. And then if you're a Christian, sorry, you believe in imagine your friends, so you're retarded. In addition to having mental retardation or mental handicap, they actually have a very pronounced, actually bulbous nose, which is actually seen in many of the patients that have been identified to date. Yeah. Former competitors and now colleagues um, in, uh, in Europe you'll see similarities in the, in the phenotype once again. You'll see, in addition to the bulbous nose, you'll see that many of the it's children possible to that. completion event. And I think kind of an interesting corollary, which we don't know the answer to yet, but one hypothesis would be, is if the inversion is enriched and selectively advantageous in Caucasian populations, it would then follow that if the inversion is predisposing to the deletion event, that essentially 
This must be or may be a cocaine. This must be or may idiopathic be idiopathic mental retardation or idiopathic disease, which occur in the brain. Believing God occurs in the brain. Our idiopathic means the cause is unknown. They didn't know this 60 years ago. <laughs> Less, you know, you know, 500, 600, uh, 600 years ago. Look at the looks of these religious uh, uh, retarded folks from Martin Luther on. Look at the pictures. Ah, look at this face of schizophrenic Luther and Philip Melanchthon of the same time. Look at those faces and look at these more recent ones, <laughs> Pat Robinson's. Uh, look at his nose, kind of a bulbous nose, isn't it? And uh, of course, uh, the gay uh, <laughs> Paul uh, Crouch and oh, Benny Hinn. Look at that. Look at this schizophrenia. It's all in their faces, especially this one. These cry-psychotic men owe their looks to the parents, the genes, and also the mental function and thinking. Not a worldwide disease. And the inversion, which is predisposing to disease. They're both things. Now, this is another region of the genome where we found multiple children that had deletions corresponding to duplicated sequences in which their mother and father did not have that sequence deleted. Um, in this particular case, this is a novel deletion seen in children, um, but not in parentals. It is associated with methyl re retardation on chromosome 15Q24. You'll see similarity in the phenotype or in the, in the physical appearances. They have mild developmental delay. Com some common facial features, particularly the high anterior hairline, we call frontal bossing of the forehead, hard spacing between, between the eyes. Retardation in terms of position right there. In this particular case, we found six unrelated patients which have the same microdeletion. So, so it's here are the facts. What I'm telling is the truth. Two plus two equals four. We create God with the brain and uh, the genome prove it. And now you can see the uh, 15 Q24, the genes. You know, they're being mapped. And now we know the ones that call mental retardations and uh, certain other diseases. And now we'll find also the one that causes uh, religious psychosis. We found a lot of other regions of the genome, which I'm not going to share you, bore you with or share with you, I guess. Um, other than to say that we have a lot of candidate regions. But the examples I showed you today were examples that we found in the last year. The data on the available genes suggests that there are Christians have change wildly. People are believing in God with the infection. Now, what I'm telling you here is a fact. It's two plus two equals four. But the people that are that believe in God are retarded, lazy, and don't understand science. That's the reason they read the set, God did it. And I don't know. So, even the educated. So, here, this is the truth. This is a fact. Have very different copies of these great ape human specific genes, it's largely unknown. But there's not a lot of them. And almost all of them are associated with these regions that are spontaneously resulting in deletion and duplication in our children with disease. And just because many factors are unknown, scientists are not going to say God did it. No. Tempus omnia revelat. Time brings all to light. Here are some examples of this uh, educated, cry psychotic folks in the medical field. They're deluded, and they're treating all of us. They belong in, a, in an institution to get their brains fixed. God's anointing on your life will cause the right doors to open. Yeah, right, like right the right cave of creation of the woman. God's plan nonsense. Birth Idiots. So if someone came to you today and said they would like contraception... You know, these people got to pay taxes and belong in mental institutions, uh, retards. Well, I have a very frank with them, so that, that's something that I don't... Do it, yeah, then you should be a doctor. Do you belong in a mental institution. You know. And you cannot tell the difference between a fantasy and a reality, as are all the religious people belong in a sanatorium. God is created with the brain. This is the problem in the world today: religious psychosis. We create all those beliefs in fairy tales. God and rest with our brains. A Christian person, a person of faith, is not unlike a child that believes in Mickey Mouse, Santa Claus, and the Bugs Bunny and all that to be real, grows up to be 18 years old and still believe they are. So let's put them in mental institutions. Bacha Dioro, we're product of the G.